hope you're well. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on my upload. I upload two to three times a week. Today I am going to be doing a uh, week of outfits. These are outfits that I have worn recently, um, a couple I am planning on wearing and some that I've even worn today and yesterday. Not only is it a week of outfits, but it's also a week of outfits for pear-shaped ladies. Now I am a pear-shaped lady. I have got big ass and thighs and a bit of a belly and then a smaller top half not really much tits and I feel like I've, I've labeled the video this because I really feel now very comfortable and confident within my skin and also how my clothes work with my body shape and I'm just hoping kind of that fellow pear-shaped ladies might get some inspiration from my weekly outfits. If you're not a pear-shaped um, I'm hoping that the outfits will still inspire you just for my combinations and how I've pieced things together. Some of the outfits are kind of like going out of the day outfits. Some of them are going out outfits, like nighttime, evening sort of stuff. And some of them are a little bit more cash and a little bit more comfortable because I'm gonna be honest with you, I spend most of my time at my desk uh, at home. And sometimes I just wear joggers and a t-shirt. There isn't a joggers and a t-shirt in this video, unfortunately. Maybe the next one I'll do will be really, really, really super honest. And I'll just film it vlog style in the mirror. Like I'm literally wearing a sack today. But this, but this is a typical week to be honest, like I've, I've worn these outfits very, very recently and I've just put it into a week. But anyway, anyway, enough waffling. Let's dive straight in. Outfit here is actually what I wore today. And these are the Jamie jeans from Topshop. Jamie jeans are my favorite jean, I suppose. And I like the Jamie ones because they're high waist, they're skinny, they're stretchy, and they come in loads of different colors and styles. And I really, really love this like gray acid wash look. I also like how the ankles are ripped and distorted and distressed and all fucked up because I've got short little legs and I like how it kind of sits on the ankle. I have a plain white tee. This is a boyfriend baggy plain tee. I love the fit of this. Um, and I just tuck it into my, I just tuck it into my jeans from about um, just for a little bit of waist cinchin and a little bit Bit of boop boop shape there. It <clears throat> makes my bum look really round. <laughs> I finished the look off with my leather jacket. I've always feel like a leather jacket is like the final finishing piece, puts everything together. <sighs> Great, it's just like the cherry on the fucking cake. And I've added a bit of color with my new boots, which are awesome. Um, they're just these really colorful snakeskin boots with buckles and Jesus Christ could a boot be more perfect for me, I don't know. But yeah, I wore that today for breakfast. This next outfit is pie outfit. Now this outfit I wore for karaoke. It's this amazing neon green leopard print, floofy sleeved blouse, slightly see-through, and then this wraparound skirt. I love a midi skirt. I like a skirt that kind of ends between the knee and the ankle. I don't really like my knees. <laughs> um, and I feel like a midi skirt. If you wear a midi skirt high waist, I feel like uh, it kind of elongates the look of your leg in a way, and it kind of skims over the kind of bits. There's nothing wrong with bits. And in a case, for me, I find it more flattering. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence with things that are flattering and not flattering. Like, I generally don't care if something looks unflattering. Like, pff, who gives a shit? I definitely think there is clothes that you just think, cool, yeah, I look good in this. And I think a midi skirt is one of those. And <clears throat> I've just got my favorite black patent pointy boot, my leather jacket, and my Rebecca Minkoff bag, which is like my all time favorite going out bag. Next outfit, another midi skirt. This is my spotty midi skirt that I got from New Look and I wore the shit out of this. I've done loads of posts on this skirt already. Jesus Christ. I've got it with a queen t-shirt. I wear band t-shirts all the friggin' time, so there was gonna be a band t-shirt in this video. I've got my belt around the middle and this creates a nice silhouette, like the kind of rough, the kind of bagginess with the t-shirt tucked in and cinched in by the waist with a belt. And then again, it goes down into this lovely skirt. And then I have my acid wash biker style denim jacket, which I friggin' love. And again, the pointy black boots. Ah, so versatile, I love them. This next outfit is a proper I'm at home outfit and I love it. Um, and it's also go back to my point about things being flattering or unflattering. This outfit isn't particularly flattering. I look like a sack in it, got a big baggy jumper, Big baggy trousers with loads of rips in. I fucking love this outfit. It's one of my favorite outfits. It's really good for lounging around in, 
being sloppy and blah, 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 blah. But I, I would quite happily go out in it as well. Depending on the, the shoes that I choose to wear, I would quite happily go out of this. More casual look, Converse, but I've worn these with my boots before and it's kind of transformed it from being really casual and cool and slouchy and relaxed to a little bit more together and pleasant and, you know, chic. Another comfy outfit. Now I wore this to Mark's parents the other night for food and I'm making the most out of my shape. I've got a mega cropped roll neck jumper in this lovely cream. These monkey trousers that I love in like this black pleated silky kind of material, which I wear at high waist. <clears throat> got a little bit of a gap there because it's just like accentuating the waist part. But I love these trousers because I feel like they um, look great on any shape. I feel if you're self-conscious about your legs, they're a really great option because they just sort of hang and sway. And they're really, really comfy and stretchy and just gorgeous. And I've got my white boots with these because I thought, well, I better put some nice shoes on. White boots. I've got my denim jacket and I felt really cozy, but still quite girly and cute in this outfit. I think it was a nice outfit to go around and meet some of his family in. This next outfit I went to London in as well the other day with my mum. I have got these, actually the misguided high waist skinny jeans are incredible. And I got these uh, ripped ones, they're mega ripped. I've got my belt. Then this gorgeous like rust orange silk wrap around shirt which I've tucked in. Love this outfit. It's uh, a mixture of kind of androgynous and then quite feminine and again using high waist belt cinching in boop um to kind of figure you know the v shape of the shirt and the kind of all the layering and textures is quite sexy in a way then i've got my western tassel leather jacket that is so fucking cool with this i have got my white boots as well so this is just like me going about town that kind of outfit and love it it's it's so cool and the last outfit, the one that I'm quite wearing, I'm wearing that now, is I went for dinner, is I went for dinner with my sister in this uh, the other day for her birthday. It is just a jumpsuit that I've teamed up underneath, layered a mesh top. Like this jumpsuit on its own, I don't really like. It's a bit, I feel a bit exposed and a bit like shouldery. <laughs> um, so I have put this of it, makes it a little bit more fun. Belt round the middle, boop 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 cinch that waist in baby with my favorite belt with the um little o-rings and stuff because these like these trousers are quite a odd length they, they have this little bit gap between the end of the ankle uh, i wore some ankle croc skin snake skin little cowboy little western boots that are like ankle ones that i got from office and i <clears throat> I, I don't want to wear like taller boots with these because i feel like it might look a bit odd like my legs have just gone been cut off so i think these are the perfect length for my little stumpy legs that was it everyone. I hope you enjoyed and thought that was interesting. Let me know if you want any more videos like this. Um, if there's any more like trying size 14 videos that you want to see. Any more styling videos that you want to see. If you want to do, I feel like I should do an honest week of outfits. Like literally, even if I'm wearing like slacks, burks, slippers, fucking sack of shit. Let me know, let me know what you think. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.